Hi Tiger! Here we are again with more math challenges. Today we are going to work on the subtraction of mixed fractions. Wow! That sounds challenging! Let's begin! Subtraction of mixed fractions Introduction Let's subtract mixed fractions. 4 3 by 4 minus 1 1 by 4 while subtracting mixed fractions, we subtract the whole numbers and the fractions separately. We subtract the whole numbers first. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Then we subtract the fractions. 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4. We see that the denominators are the same for both the fractions, that is 4. We write the denominator as 4. And we subtract the numerators. 3 minus 1 equals 2. This is 2 by 4. So the answer is 3 2 by 4. Five one by three minus three one by four. We subtract the whole numbers first. Five minus three equals two. Then we subtract the fractions. One by three minus one by four. We see that the denominators are not the same for both the fractions. Let's make the denominator same by finding LCM of the denominators 3 and 4. To find the LCM of 3 and 4 using the division method, we write the denominators separated by a comma. Then we divide these numbers by the least prime number that divides any of these two numbers. Here we start with 2. 3 is not divisible by 2, so we write 3 as it is. 4 is divisible by 2, we get 2. We repeat the steps again with 2. 3 is not divisible by 2, so we write 3 as it is. 2 is divisible by 2, we get 1. We repeat the steps with the next prime number that is divisible, that is 3. 3 is divisible by 3, we get 1. 3 is not divisible by 1, so we write 1 as it is. We then multiply the prime numbers we used for dividing. 2 times 2 times 3 equals 12. Here 12 is the least common multiple, that is the LCM. Let's make the denominators the same as 12. We multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. Next, we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 3, that is 4 times 3 equals 12. Since we multiply the denominator of the first fraction with 4, we multiply the numerator with the same number, that is 1 times 4. We get 4 by 12. Since we multiply the denominator of the second fraction with 3, we multiply the numerator with the same number, that is 1 times 3. We get 3 by 12. This becomes 4 by 12 minus 3 by 12. Now the denominators are the same for both the fractions, that is 12. We write the denominator as 12 and we subtract the numerators. 4 minus 3 equals 1. This is 1 by 12. 
So the answer is 2 1 by 12. So Tiger, did you understand the method? Yes, I did. But I need more practice to get a better hang of it. Well, you get lots of practice time with the exercises. <laughs>